What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video about five ways to test them fucking bitches. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm hyper today. You're gonna have to deal with me. So uh yes, yeah, so women, I'm gonna I'm gonna tone it down. I'm gonna try. So women often test men and sometimes they're not even aware that they're doing some bitches are lying, they know what they're doing and they're acting like I didn't know. But a lot of women don't know that they're actually testing, it's just like it's in them, it's just how they're wired. So I feel like you should test them. If it can go one way, it should go the other way too. You should test them bitches because nobody is here to waste time you need to know who you're dealing with i would say oh after a phone conversation sometimes you need to fucking realize but hey sometimes it takes you a date or two or three but hey you need to see who you're dealing with number one the car trick i know this is kind of like old school but i still like it i don't remember the movie but it was in a movie where the the, the dad i think was telling his son when uh you go pick her up or whatever you go and open the car door for her and then you go around your side and then if the bitch doesn't like try to open the door a little bit for you she's not the one i think it doesn't take anything and it shows a lot of character because he kind of like okay i'm the princess uh, you open my door i sit down and then you're just like okay i'm sitting down waiting for you to get in I think it doesn't take anything for her to reach out and open the door for you a little bit, you know? So that's one. I, I like to see if girls do it or not, but you try it and you let me know. Number two, the coffee test or whatever test is like something, something small, something that's like not a lot of money. So you and her are riding around and you're like, oh damn, I want Starbucks, let's say coffee. I want Starbucks. And then you go in the drive through or whatever, or you go inside. And then all of a sudden you realize that you do not have your wallet. Your wallet is in your pocket, but make sure she can see it. Okay. So you don't have your wallet and you tell her, Hey baby, can you spot me? Uh, I forgot my wallet. Watch her response. If she's annoyed, if she's like, Oh my God, why you don't have your stuff? Why you're not organized? Like if the bitch start bitching, which is her job, the bitch start bitching. It means she doesn't care for you at all. And she feels like she deserves everything. She doesn't need to spend a dime on your ass. Do you want to be with a woman like that? Do you want to be with somebody that it's always you, you, you? Because I'm sure you've taken her out to like fucking fancy dinners and a bunch of shit or buying her gift. And now she can't spend seven, eight dollars on you. What the fuck? Why would you be with somebody like that? I know a lot of you are still sticking around. Just I'm not calling no names. But you guys are sticking around after a girl is telling you that she can't spot you for a fucking coffee? Guys, have some fucking standards. Because at some point, she's a fucking ungrateful ass, selfish ass bitch. Yes. And you should run because at this point, the bitch is looking for a fucking sponsor. And I'm telling you, I, I'm a, a little side note. It baffles me that women really be thinking that they deserve everything because they have beauty and pussy. Like, come on, bitch. That's all you bring to the fucking table? This is crazy to me, but hey, it's this society. It's people in this society. And I, I'm just wondering, why do you think you deserve a man to spend all the money on you? Did you help him build a fucking company? So now you want some of that money? Probably not. Do you go to work with him in the morning and then they just pay him so you need a cut for it? Like, what the fuck? I'm just saying. Do not allow bitches to make you feel like you gotta pay for everything because you don't. Number three, the no test. Yes, easy. So you know how usually she wanna do stuff, like women are gonna come up with, hey, let's go to this restaurant, let's go do that. Like, you know, it's a new thing over there, let's go try. Today you're not feeling it. You're like, oh no, I'm good. I'm not really interested in going there. Just say that and watch a reaction. If the bitch start shaming you, oh, you're a broke ass motherfucker, la la la, uh, that's why you don't wanna go. Girls are gonna shame you because you don't wanna spend money on them. Excuse me, bitch, why do I need to spend fucking money on you? And to me, it's the audacity, the audacity. You wanna shame me, I mean, I'm a man right now. You wanna shame me because I don't wanna spend money on you, but yet you cannot afford to spend the money on yourself. Or you do not wanna spend your own money on yourself. But I need to? Are you fucking crazy? You guys, wake up, open your eyes as big as mine, and fucking see what them bitches are doing to you. It is ridiculous. Or they might hit you like either you're broke 
or real men. I'm like, bitch, how do you know what a real man is? Are you a real man? No, so shut the fuck up. Yeah, you gotta check them. Don't check them like I'm saying because this is way too aggressive. You know, she's gonna be scared and all of that. But just like, no, you can say, no, I don't wanna go. I don't gotta pay. If you think I'm broke, that's on you. Don't even engage into fighting with a bitch. Like, a man should never fight with a girl. What is the point? Why are you fighting with a woman? To me, women who shame men because they don't want to pay for something is very disgusting. And if somebody does that to you, that's a sign that she doesn't respect you. She doesn't respect your hustle. She doesn't respect your, your manhood because now she's asking if you're a real man. And um, you should run. Run. I know a bunch of you guys stay because she got the look, she got the fire pussy, but no, you can find somebody better. You can find somebody that's going to be actually attracted to other stuff than your money. And when you leave, I'm not saying you got to be done with the bitch, like cut and dry. You should. I'm saying you should. I am saying it. But hey, you do what you do. But you should still leave her and watch. If you still want her, she might come back. But when she comes back, watch her attitude is gonna be different because now she knows not to fucking play with you, not to fucking tell you you're broke because you're not buying something. She might not even ask you for nothing because now you allowing her to come back around like, okay, bitch, you deserve some of my time, what you want, you know? Or she doesn't come back and then good, good. You got rid of this fucking bitch. I'm telling you, stand up for yourself and don't let any bitch make you feel like you're less than because you don't wanna buy something for her. <laughs> this is this is crazy to me number four the prenup test so for this one do not just be like hey if we get married uh we're, we're getting a prenup what you think don't don't be like that because it's kind of like weird it's kind of like aggressive and she's gonna be like um, are you testing me you know she might sense it so what you do is that you're my uh, you're my buddy just got married and they got a um, prenup how you feel about it you know it's not about you it's just like you Maybe you have your point of view on it and you just want to start like a debate to see if you guys agree or don't agree or whatever, but it's not like, yo, I want a prenup, what you think, you know? So women have this excuse. Why are we talking about a prenup? Does it mean we're not going to end up together? We, we should never get a divorce. So why are we thinking about a prenup? Yeah, bitch. We're thinking about a prenup because when you get, you, because when your ass get tired of me or when you get crazy and I need to get the fuck out, you want to go with half of my fucking money. No, bitch. So, seriously, uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you my point of view on prenup. I'm, I feel like if you are a guy that was married and that has a kid, you should have a prenup with the new lady that you're with that you're gonna get married to. Because if something happened to you, if you guys get divorced, if you die, God forbid, um, she's gonna get most of your money and then she's gonna be kind of like responsible to give some to the kid. And if the bitch didn't care about you, she's not gonna care about the kid. And I wouldn't let this lady handle your finances when it comes to your kid. No, that's not safe. Cause you know, bitches become uh, very greedy when it comes to money and then they might not be looking out for your kid. So don't do that. And also, even if there is no kid, even if it's your first marriage, I would still kind of say, get a prenup because you never know what's gonna happen. And in America, you know, it's a lot on the side of the women. I have never understood why I work, you work, we're together. Everything is together. We get divorced. Why we don't all live with what we came with? Unless we have like asset that we bought together, then we split or whatever. Or I don't even feel like it should be split. It. I feel like it should be, if I put more money, I get more and you get the rest, you know? But uh, yeah. Why do I need to provide for your lifestyle, especially if the man was making more money than her, when we uh, separate, when we get a divorce? Why the bitch get half? I do not get that, but hey, it is what it is. It's, uh, it's the marriage uh, out here. So, so yes, deal with it. But that's why I would recommend a fucking prenup. Not saying you're not leaving her anything if something happened or anything. Not saying like you gotta be just one-sided or whatever. But why the bitch deserves half of your money? Also, disclaimer before people tell me, well, if I'm a stay-at-home mom, yes, if you are a stay-at-home mom, I do believe that you should get some type of money because you sacrifice probably your career to raise the kids, take care of the home and do all of that shit. And now you, are, you get divorced and then you have no money because you put everything into the relationship and the kids and the house. No, that's not fair. 
So that's it. Okay. Done with the prenup. Do the prenup test and see how she reacts. If she gets like mad and all that shit, like it's a conversation. She doesn't need to get mad. But if she gets like mad and she's like, and she feels like kind of like disrespected, I'm not the type of woman. Why would you do, you know? It's weird. I'm telling you. Women who get offended when you talk about it is because you caught her. She feels caught. So she's projecting and now she's going to flip the script and act like she's highly offended that you would think she's somebody like that. Okay. Number five, the validation test. So pretty much women like to be validated. Women like to have attention. Women like uh, to hear compliment. And I'm like, hey, I like that shit too, you know? But a confident woman, if you don't do those type of things, she's not gonna be tripping. You know, she's gonna try to be understanding. Like, let's say you don't give her enough attention. She's gonna try to be like, well, he's working, he's busy, he's making money for us, whatever. You know, she's not gonna trip. But the bitches that need to have this constant validation, you're never gonna be enough for her because she's gonna be looking for that shit at all time from anywhere, from anyone, from the fucking dog, the cat, the bird. She's gonna want the validation. So if you cannot give her that, it's gonna be a problem. And a girl that needs validation is going to tend to kind of cheat, kind of being disloyal. I'm not saying you cannot compliment your bitch. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you want to do the test, don't compliment her and see how she reacts. Also, if she needs that much attention, she's probably very insecure. And she needs to hear all day long how beautiful she is, how this and that. You know, you don't want to deal with that. Like already dealing with bitches is something. But dealing with an insecure bitch, this is hell. This is hell. I don't know if you want to enter and all the flames are around you and you're like, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm water. No, it's hell. And you're going to have to do all the work while getting burned. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Yeah, you're not getting burned. Sorry. So that's it. Those were five tests you can give your bitch uh, or a girl that you just started talking to to see how she feels about some situations and just look for the signs check out her reaction and, and see if that's something that you can deal with. But I'm telling you, sometimes you guys are so enamored by the beauty, by the pussy, by, okay, that you see, you do those tests and you stay. Oh yeah, she failed with flying colors, but I'm gonna stay. Yeah, that sounds like a right decision. And then down the line, you're like, damn, I saw all of them shit and I wasted like, I don't know how many years, you know? So make sure, make sure you test your bitch test her they're testing you why can't you test her fucking test her and then if she fail make sure you did you did you did yes and uh you find somebody that actually is worth your time worth your money because we already know you're gonna spend some and uh, that you have a good time with like being in a relationship is tough but it should still be something very enjoyable so you gotta find who can work for you and again don't think like well, she cool, she's pretty and this and that, you know, but then you know she's a real bitch. It's like, no, you need to say next, 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 because there's a next bitch over there by the door. Can you see the door? No, you can't. By the door and um, she's willing to enter and see what's up. So guys, don't get caught up on like, well, she, she's kind of good. Yeah, yeah, I see those red flags, but no, you see the red flags, they're there like waving. Do -do -do, I'm here, do you see me? Fucking run. Yes. Okay, that's it. I'm too hyper. I'm gonna go. Hopefully that video was helpful for you. And uh, test her. Yes, you test her. And what else? That's it. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to. At Medi Love Exo and at Medi Monaco. And I love you. Tons.